hello. This uh, caricature is of. Give me a second here. It's a weird name. He's um, he's from Japan. <laughs> Let me see. Hang on. Um, Emperor Akihito. So this caricature is of him. So this is what happened with this caricature. Um, this week I was really busy, so um, what I was going to do is uh, start the sketching or start this caricature on, was it Sunday night or either really early Monday morning. And uh, so I was sitting on the couch with my daughter yesterday, which was Friday night, and all of a sudden I thought in my mind, oh, he would make a really good like bobblehead caricature. <clears throat> like the ones that you stick on your car, on your dashboard, and they kind of move with the spring, I guess, or whatever they have underneath the, the head. Um, and I was, I was, I automatically thought, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint that. I'm gonna actually look up some pictures of cars, uh, like the da like a dashboard view, or like a like a driver's view looking out towards the dashboard. And then I was gonna incorporate the caricature uh, as though it was sitting on top of the dash, and make like the background all fuzzy or, or blurry. So it doesn't get too distracting. <clears throat> Just so that you know, there's like a, a dashboard bobblehead character guy on there. Um, so I got my stuff out. I got my stuff ready. And um, and that night, uh, everyone went to bed. And I just started sketching. <clears throat> and I started recording this here. Um, and about halfway through the sketching, I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to sculpt it. And the reason why is because I just I really wanted to. It, it when when I thought, man, maybe I can, I maybe I can sketch it or not sketch it, but uh, maybe I can sculpt it. And I thought, wow, that that would be a lot more fun uh, for me at least. I hadn't hadn't sculpted it in a while, and what I use is like this. Uh, it's called kneaded eraser, or I think that's what it's called. It's a rubber type of eraser, and uh, these are all like used ones, and I've sculpted them before, so they have like, you know, they're already dirty and they've got paint in them. So um, so I use those. And that's what that's what I, I wanted to do. So um, I felt more motivated to do that. So I just kept sketching and until I got the right position. <clears throat> and then I, as you can see, I got the, the eraser out and I was kind of molding it already uh, as I was sketching. And uh, so that's a little bit about what happened there. I wasn't planning on starting this early because uh, I did have a job to do. And um, let's see what else. Um, so I did one, two, three, four, five. I did about five sketches, little thumbnails, and then I'm using like that little tool. I'm using like a little, it like tests the like electrical outlets. I think electricians use it, but it's basically just a little screwdriver type of body with a point at the end, like a needle, a needle point, I guess. And then, and then I use like the mechanical pencil, uh, the body of it to round off and make smooth the, um, the uh, eraser. So that's about all that I used. Um, I'm sure I could have used other things. <coughs> that's all uh, that I used. At this point, see this sketch I'm doing? I slowed it down for you. He looked, uh, in that sketch, that's the, the viewpoint that I wanted to um, sculpt him in, a side view. And he looked too, like, I guess angry. Or he didn't have a smile. Most of his pictures, he's smiling. So I wanted to make him look jolly or happy. And I couldn't figure out a way on how to do it. I don't know if I did it the best way, but um, you'll see in a little bit what I came up with. But see, there I am trying to figure out if you know if I'm going to add his teeth, if I'm going to add his upper lip. That way, I can show a little bit of a smile. Um, I'm trying to push back the the cheek, as you can see. <coughs> I'm just trying different ways there uh, on what what I'm going to be doing, and um, and I would say that was probably the uh, one of the hard parts on the sketch. Um, just trying to fig figure out how to make him look happy. One way is you can raise the eyebrows a little bit higher. Uh, I do that a lot at events. So if I'm drawing, especially like if I'm drawing like a lady, uh, I keep the shape of the eyebrow. I just lift it up much higher than it is in real life. I, I bring it up so they look a lot more, uh, I guess, um, happier. Um, so that's that's what I did with the eyebrows. I just brought them up to the top of his forehead <clears throat> um, but I was still wanting to bring a smile I wanted to figure out how to get his smile in there 
without like losing the cheek and like that up that bottom lip there so it was a little difficult and what I did is I brought up the the mouth like in his temple area um, so basically if it, so as this as it's just as though he were smiling and the mouth is kind of tucked inside his cheek I guess and it goes up above his cheekbone up into his temple um, I don't know just something I'm just trying I just tried out now when it came to sculpting that part you'll see in a little bit um, it was very difficult like I was trying to do different ways I got the needle point I, I there's a little smile there the little smirk I brought the smirk up there uh, that's what I ended up doing I kept I kept that um, but that part was hard to sculpt it was really hard and but I just tried it out a few different ways and and I guess it was through trial and error just trying out different ways of doing it on how to get that effect or that look in that temple area with the um, with the eraser <coughs> and uh, so that's what I ended up keeping and you know it might be hard to follow I guess to look at but um, that's the only that's the best way I could make him look I guess like he's smiling with that side view um, profile view uh, without losing the the big mass in his cheek and his cheekbone because he has a bunch of I guess mass there a lot of fat there um, so didn't want to lose that and I did want to eliminate the top the top lip for sure because that doesn't really stand out as much so uh, it's one way I exaggerated it was just to take it out um oh he's always bowing not always but he's kind of bowing <coughs> oh and also he's always well he's, let me finish that he's always bowing and he's always leaning forward that, I guess that's how they greet each other and uh, but he always has this hunch type of feel to him and sometimes when he's standing up forward his head still sits forward up you know up forward and, uh, like a uh, uh, before his uh, shoulders, like it sits on the front of his chest almost. But he has a really, uh, really large head compared to his his body. When I was looking pictures, looking for pictures to put on the uh, the announcements and the banner and stuff uh, in the very beginning of the week, when I was doing that, I noticed this guy has a really big head. And then I started looking at pictures of him, um, like with Obama and like with other other people, because his wife is fairly short also. It's actually shorter than him, but when I when I started seeing him in comparison to like other people, <clears throat> it, it wasn't that his head was big. It was, he has a, a normal, regular size adult head. It's just that his body is like a seventeen year old or a thirteen year old, maybe even like maybe ten, and then he like it stopped growing or something. <clears throat> oh, see that part by the way. I'm, that's where I'm experimenting. That, that I told you it was really hard to do. Um, Anyway, so I'm experimenting right there. As I was doing it, it kept looking like an ear, and it just didn't make any sense. And so I got a piece of um, eraser and I bent it around like a C, and I stuck it in there. See, I, I put a little dent in there and I stuck it in there, and just after I just just went with that. But anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, in his pictures, it shows that his head is big. As in fact, his body is small. So he doesn't really have a big head. He just have a really small body. He just stopped growing. Like when he was like 13, he just stopped growing. Um, so anyways, when, when I looked at him, I thought automatically in the past, like when I was looking at that last week, I automatically thought of a bubble head or some type of big head, small body. But it didn't, it didn't like cross my mind to actually draw that or paint it like that. Draw it like a bub bubble head. I think that's how you pronounce it, bubble head. Or to sculpt it at all. And that didn't happen until, like I told you, Friday. So um, <coughs> that silver thing, um, I found that in my garage Friday night. I was looking for some type of base to put it in. That's like uh, like a brace type of frame that is used for like the doorway. It's like a, a pull-up. Like it's part of an exercise bar that goes across your like door, and you kind of pull up on it. Anyways, I haven't used it in a while, so I just got it, and I got some uh, wire hanger. And I'm trying to figure out how to <clears throat> position the wire so where it's stiff, it's whole, it's 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 uh, firm and it's not moving, and uh, that way I can bend it forward and that whole body I can have them like bowing a little bit or leaning forward, and because without that 
the head's so heavy, it's not hollow. And the, the head's just basically going to bring the whole thing down. And that's my hairy leg right there, by the way. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I'm still kind of sick. Um, so there's the flag. I just cut it out of paper, got a little marker. But that base, um, it took me a while. I was cutting the wire, bending it in certain ways. And I twisted it together so it was kind of firm. And then I stuck the body on top of there. And then I stuck the head on top. Um, so that way I can lean it forward. And that, that little metal piece, that base is, it's, it's not very light. So it's, it's got some weight on it. So it, it, that's, that helped it to not lean forward or to not fall. Um, that way I can keep the body, you know, going forward. Um, I'm starting with the, the base color. It's like a really mustard yellow. <clears throat> and then I did like, I let that dry and I did use a hair dryer. And then I did like, um, a more brownish tint there there's the brownish one I think I just did it there um, anyways but you see the palette there the bottom one is what I used first because that gray eraser it's hard to paint you have to do at least two layers because it's so dark so I did the um, the whitish yellow on, on underneath first and then I let that dry and then I did the, the darker one on top <coughs> there I am with the pinks um, I just wanted to highlight the, the main points that really stood out and I try to exaggerate those so I I just uh, added the pinks where his cheeks are and then his bottom lip and then like a little bit in his ear. Um, I didn't really focus too much on adding the shadows like the dark areas and painting the browns and things like that because uh, Michael he does a lot of sculpting and I learned from him that just when you don't have to do that because when you do the lighting and when you do the when you take a picture of this the, there's already natural shadows that will let, that will occur on the face, so there'll be already like a grays, and there'll be already the dark spots there. As long as you have the shapes right, um, that stuff will occur. So, anyways, hope you liked it, and uh, we'll see you next time.